let us come to uh, finish the uh, replication how the replication is finished so uh, completion of a dna replication requires a set of specific events and these events are different for uh, circular chromosome and linear chromosomes or you can see these events are uh, you can say these events are different in uh, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells in case of circular chromosome the conventional replication fork machinery replicates the entire molecule but the resulting daughter molecules are topologically linked to each other so in a circular chromosome replication uh, will proceed and at the end of replication the two chromosomes will be linked to each other as you can see here in this case so in this case uh, this is a, a circular dna chromosome it starts replication uh, from here and then replication proceeds in both the directions and as a result two chromosomes are formed but these two chromosomes are linked to each other at a specific site so uh, this is uh, a problem of uh, circular chromosomes while uh, in case of linear chromosomes the problem is uh, different the replication machinery cannot completely uh, uh, completely uh, complete the replication of very ends of the linear chromosomes so these very ends of the chromosomes are called telomeres so uh, as you uh, uh, have seen in uh, uh, when the uh, replication will complete uh, the ends which are called telomeres they will pose some problems so the uh, replication uh, machinery cannot complete replication at the ends in case of linear chromosomes therefore organisms containing linear chromosomes have developed novel strategies to replicate their chromosome ends or telomeres so come to the uh, circular uh, chromosomes uh, after replication of a circular chromosome is complete the resulting daughter dna molecule remain linked together as a catenanes catenanes are just like uh, uh, two uh, circles joined in this way so as uh, 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 this is a single chromosome but at the end these uh, chromosomes will be joined in this way so these uh, form catenanes so in this way these two are linked together so to segregate these chromosomes into separate daughter cells the two circular dna molecules must be disengaged from each other or uh, this is called decatenated they are catenated and they must be decatenated so that one chromosome goes to one cell this separation this decatenation is accomplished by the action of type 2 topoisomerases so these are different from topoisomerases which you have seen so the action of type 2 topoisomerases that results in the decatenation of circular chromosomes